Okay, so I purchased this Cajun Gunworks. Uh, it is a reach reduction kit made for the Shadow 2, the CZ Shadow 2 here. And after installing it, it seemed like it worked fine. Like, I'll show you here. Here's single action. I'm just going to bring her back here. Works fine. Double action. Okay. Let's see what we'll out there. Okay, so everything seems to work fine. But when I put the slide on, you can get it while I'm looking through the camera right here. All right. Yeah, how's the slides on? Nothing. Can't get the hammer to fall. Just nothing. So, I actually took it apart and put in the original parts and everything worked fine. So, I put it back together again. I was very careful, made sure everything was in place exactly how it should be. Use all the parts that they sent. Messed around with the, uh, the screw up here. And that didn't help at all. And started trying to figure out what it might be. The only thing I could think of is this sear it's not allowing it to reset uh, so see it's still not working here nothing but now if i push down here and this is the trigger bar here and i've already checked the trigger spring or the the spring for the trigger bar is uh good uh trigger spring is good everything's good like i said i put the original parts parts back in and everything worked fine but if I mess with the trigger bar here, let's push it down a little bit. At the same time, pull the trigger and pull the hammer back. Do you hear that click? So that means it's reset. Oops. Should mean anyways. There we go. It works. And now it works fine again. Everything works fine. But let's say you're going from... Um, Double action, you, you pull it, and it comes up, fine, it resets. But if you're going from single action, like when you rack a slide, when you rack the slide, it'll come back. Um, it'll reset in here, like that. And now, nothing. So I'm not exactly sure what's wrong. I, I read the forums. Uh, I spent way too much time on um, an embarrassing amount of time on this, actually. But reading the forums, um, everything that I read, they um, basically said, you know, the trigger spring, maybe the trigger bar spring, a trigger bar, uh, none of that could possibly be it. And the only thing I can think of is the sear. And I did find a forum where they mentioned you can shave a little bit of material off of the sear um, and then it should work. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to get a hold of Cajun Gunworks and ask if they know exactly what I should do. Maybe I got a faulty part, kind of doubt it. Maybe it just needs to be fitted a little bit. It could be just as simple as filing down a little bit of metal. That's not a big deal. I can do that. I just need to know exactly where to do it. And um, I'll post a video update after I talk to them, or maybe I'll just include it with this video. I'll just put them together so you don't have to watch two separate videos. But. Overall, the reach on it, though, is, is much shorter. Let's see if I can get this work here again. There. The reach on it is much shorter. It's nice. The trigger holds nice. And the single action, once it breaks, is very nice. So it's a great kit. It just might require some minor fitting, and I, I wish 
maybe they would mention that and exactly what to do. That, that would have made my life a lot easier yesterday because I thought for sure that it was something that I had done. And I tore this thing apart numerous times and, uh, like I said, changed everything back to the original to make sure it was working. It wasn't me. And then changed everything back afterwards. And same issue. So it has to be the sear. It has to be the sear. I doubt that it's the the trigger or the trigger spring. Because, I don't know, they didn't send a trigger spring with it. So I'm, I'm sure that's the exact same one that you're supposed to use, the original. So, I don't know. Okay, so I got off the phone with the gentleman at Cajun Gunworks, and he knew exactly what was wrong with the pistol. So I kind of feel like a dumbass um, spending all those hours <laughs> tearing this thing apart, putting it back together. Um, on the positive side, I, uh, I have a pretty good idea of how to tear this pistol apart and put it back together now, and a very good idea on how everything works. So that's the good news i guess but um what it comes down to is the actual sear which i thought it was uh just needed to have a um a little bit of material shaved off and i uh used my trusty dremel here and shaved off a little at a time um, i had to take it apart and put it back together uh uh I remember if it was three or four times but uh it, it now it works so um, actually, let me put the pin back in here. Pull the hammer back. All right. So, man, that trigger is nice though. Like hardly any take up. I just there we go. Reset right there. Wow, that is nice. Double action works. Everything works. Yeah, it took me about, I don't know, maybe an hour to to do it. Maybe less, actually. It's probably not even that long. Yeah, 45 minutes. But I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you exactly where uh, he had me shave it off. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to do this. It'd be kind of boring watching me pull this thing apart. Because if you're in my boat, you probably just want to get this thing fixed. Be done with it. Come on. Now he's taking the pins are in there nice and tight. Alright. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I'm sure everybody knows how to take this down already, but... Uh, let me move back. Yeah, that's good. All right, where's my bones? So he had all the documentation. He had uh, sent me quite a few emails, but um, they were just kind of emails with um, other posts showing what might be wrong with it. But he knew what was actually wrong with it, and that one showing the shave the material off was actually the correct one. So, so this out of here. Okay, so you have your sear here. Let me see something real quick. Or your, um, did I say sear? Disconnector. So you have your, uh, not your serial disconnector here. Did I say serial before? I don't even remember. But it's actually your disconnector here. I might have been calling it the wrong thing the whole time. Let me just pull that back. And on the disconnector, this one's a little bit fatter than the original one that's in there. It's longer too, but uh, the shave area or the area you take off is right on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I get this to focus. But on the bottom here, right where this is rubbing right now, like right there. So this area here, there's actually a little hump right there. And 
I noticed um, I would take down just a little bit at a time, and I would always leave, you know, sort of a hump there. And uh, looking at the picture that he sent me, there really isn't any hump. So I just, the last time I did it, I completely removed the hump, and now it works. So if you have a hump on your disconnector right at the bottom there, that could be what's causing the issue. But, yeah, um, kind of a nightmare to get through, but... Like I said, positive side, uh, I know how the gun works really well, and you know I keep calling parts the wrong parts for some reason, then uh, I can tear this thing down uh, pretty much blindfolded now. By the way, if you're looking at this fugly looking thing here, uh, the extended mag release, my thumbs are really short. Look at that. The other one, I can barely get the tip of my thumb on. This one, I can actually get to it a lot easier so this is just something i bolted on there it looks like crap but you know what it works good uh, i don't really care if it's in a holster good and it gives me a place to put my thumb so not really a gas pedal or whatever you want to call it but it's like a little uh like a little step for my thumb there and it works pretty good so i'm just gonna leave it like that even though it doesn't look that great well that's it everybody um if you do have issues with your pistol though and you buy some um and you bought a kit from cajun gunworks i'd probably give them a call first even though you've uh, seen this video or probably read the forums it might save you a lot of time uh those guys over there are very knowledgeable very nice too so uh and he knew immediately what the problem was so um i didn't even need to make the first video besides for informing everybody else on what the problem was so well that's it and uh you can give it a like if this helps you at all if not give it a thumbs down if you think i'm a jerk and you guys take it easy <laughs>